Hello, hello, Facebook Live. It is Deshaun, your maximizing coach. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Waiting for Facebook to invite people and to build an audience. <clears throat> hello, hello, welcome to Tuesday. Welcome, Naya. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the conversation. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We're waiting for everyone to settle in. I am a little late. Please forgive me. And I promise I'm not going to hold us very long this evening. I'm going to get through this immediately, expeditiously. I hope that everyone is doing well, that you had a wonderful day and that you created the day that you desired, right? We're talking about our desires. Good evening, Naya. Hello, my beautiful one. Good evening. Welcome, Arlene. Welcome, Leon. Good evening, everyone. Listen, let me know when you've joined the conversation. Also, let me know where you are from. If you're not from Los Angeles, which is where I am coming to you live from. So let us know where you are and your name. I want to be able to greet you in the name of Magnificence. Good evening. Keith Dillard, he is watching. Welcome, everyone. I am Deshaun Antoinette Booker, your maximizing coach. And I am here to bring you a wonderful, a wonderful part three of our series on mm, you are desire you are entitled to your desires you are entitled to your desires okay all right Leon from the ATL George is in the house good evening again everyone let me know where you are from uh, as you join the conversation with me and with each other I'm so excited to be able to support and serve you this evening again I'm um, bringing to you my uh, series on, wow, the series is entitled, well, it's a precursor to my webinar. The webinar is taking place this Friday evening. Hello, Sir Collins. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Handsome. The webinar is taking place this Friday and it is how to get hungry or get hungry for your desires. And so this is a precursor to that, which is you are entitled to your desires, okay? So I want to come to you prior to Friday. I want you to be involved and be an active participant tonight. And I want you to show up as well on Friday for the webinar, the free webinar, okay? Arlene is from Los Angeles. That's right, Arlene, welcome. LA is in the building, in the conversation. Oh, I'm so excited, but I'm going to jump right on in. OK, so as people are joining us, let me know. Let us know that you are here. Type in your name and where you are from. Give us a nice greeting so that I can welcome you into the conversation this evening. I am Deshaun Antoinette Booker again, your maximizing coach. And I have been coaching women in the arena of empowerment for over 20 years. I began my ministry working with youth. I still work with youth, but I began working with my nonprofit Arts Creating Unity Institute, where I use theater arts as a tool to teach tolerance, acceptance and racial diversity amongst youth using the tool of theater to bridge those barriers between our our youth and our communities and beyond. I also have a production company, Oasis Ministry Productions, where I write, direct and produce my own faith based plays and I have ma uh, my coaching teaching and training company maximizing your magnificence which is why you are joining me this evening on behalf of that particular outreach of mine that I'm so excited to be able to serve and support women through I work with women so that women can do three things so they can number one get intentional number two live and work from a place of integrity so that they can always manifest increase in their lives. So that I'm excited to be able to do that. And it just warms my heart that I'm able to share what God has placed in my heart with others so that they can begin to maximize their magnificence and reach their highest potential. So I'm going to get started. Okay. So listen, I want you to Get what you ever going to write on, take your notes, get your things that you can write. You can be in the conversation with me. If you have some questions, comments, 
go ahead and place them and type them in the comment section there. I will read them and I am definitely going to respond. Uh, I hope that it isn't frozen. It looks like it may have stopped. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to keep going. Good evening, Brene. Welcome to the conversation. Again, we are serving this evening from the topic of you are entitled to your desires. So I've done part one, part two, tonight is part three, and I'm going to jump right in. So part three is that in order for you to understand that you are entitled to your desires, we must begin to listen to ourselves from within. We must listen from within. Okay. And that is what we must do. So I'm going to create a picture. I'm going to create a picture for you. Oh, you know, I love to breathe in and I love to breathe out. So with all of the heightened awareness and the events that we live in this world, right? Our world is filled with all of the bells and whistles and events and all of the dynamics of this changing world that we live in. And on top of that, all of our own day-to-day -day activities in our own lives can actually create for us a barrier to listen to our within. It can really begin to create our sense of listening to within can become impaired. That is due to all of the distractions and the, the understanding of what's pulling at us every single day in our lives. The constant demand for our personal lives and our personal attention and our personal time. So with all of those distractions, it is sometimes very difficult for us to what? Go within ourselves, isn't it? It's so difficult with all of the different voices that are pulling and tugging at us. And so tonight I want to come and share some ways that you can begin to eliminate the voices, the noises, the distractions, so that you can be one with self and centered in hearing from your within so that you are clear about what your desires are and what you are to do in moving forward in that. I hope that's okay that I share that with you tonight. Is that okay? Yeah? Good. It's okay? Wonderful. Then I'm going to keep moving on. So some of you may know, you may not know, I'm an instructor, I'm a professor at the college level. And one of my classes that I teach is oral speech, right? Oral communications. And so in teaching speech, I always define the elements of speech with the three elements that we all know of. We have the sender, we have the message, and then we have the receiver. And so the sender has this great idea that the sender wants to get to the receiver. The sender is intentional about creating a message so that that message is clear and delivered without any distractions to the receiver. Well, when that sender begins to send the message, the message is here. And right here is all of the noises and distractions, whether they are unforeseen situations, whether they are a person's belief systems and values, right? The breakdowns. So as that message is now being sent to the receiver, sometimes that noise will distort the message. And once that message gets to the receiver, it's something totally different than what the sender intended. How many of you have had a conversation with someone and when you're done, they tell you something totally different to what you just said, right? Give me those thumbs up, right? Or those hearts if that has happened to you, that you have had a conversation with someone and all of a sudden you say, that's not what I said. Now, wait a minute. Were you listening to me? Well, that's the noise. That's the distraction. Hello, Terrence. Welcome to the conversation. And so when we are sitting with ourselves and we are unable to have the direct communication between the divine and ourselves, it's because there is what distorted 
noises, all of these interruptions that are coming into and really creating a signal that we don't want. The same thing when we are trying to have a conversation with someone, when we're sending that message and that receiver for some reason doesn't receive what you intended. And so it happens with us when we want to get still and we want to listen to within so that we can be clear on what our desires are and then how to ignite those desires. So what happens? We begin to listen to all of these other voices inside of our heads and even outside. We listen to everything. I want you right now, those that are with me, I want you to type in some of the noises and other voices that we begin to hear that become a distraction and a disturbance. Type it in right there. And I'm going to read some as well, but I want you to type some because I want you to be um, participatory in this conversation. Okay. So again, what are some of the voices and the distractions that we hear when we are trying to listen to our within? Let me get my notes, right? So some of them are our family members, our friends, our spouse, our boyfriend and our girlfriend. And when, although we love these people and they love us, their voices and their interpretation of what really we're supposed to be doing can become a total distraction, a total distraction. So we have, you know, we're listening to the radio or podcasts or teleseminars, television shows, reality shows, right? We're, we're listening to what the media is saying. What does the news say? What is the magazine saying? We're becoming bombarded with all of these outside distractions. They can even be your friends. Yes. And your family members. Absolutely. Other people's opinions. Yes, Naya. Absolutely. Hello, Valencia. Welcome to the conversation. So we're identifying distractions. So yeah, other people's opinions, other people's thoughts, ideas, values, all of these things become a distraction to us so that we are not clearly hearing and showing up to our desires. We're just not. All of the organizations that we belong to, whether we are participating, you know, and doing our volunteer time at our children's schools, in our neighborhoods, all of these things become a distraction, right? They're distracting us. Now, why do we need to sit with ourselves and be centered with our within? Why do we need to do that? Well, I'm glad you want to know the answer because I believe I have something to share with that. We need to sit with our, with, within ourselves because we're the only ones who are responsible for our desires. Yes. Like no one is responsible for your purpose. No one is responsible for your calling on your life. No one is responsible for your desires, but you and I. And so we must know how to sit quietly and must be with our within, with ourselves, so that we could hear from our divine how to then execute what we are entitled to. We are entitled to our desires so that we become a part of, I was looking at my dog, excuse me, I need to check on him. Bison, are you okay? Oh, I think he's having one of his episodes, but I'm going to continue to move on and pray that that episode moves quickly in the name of Jesus. Pray for my dog. I'm sincere. Okay. He has some issues and I'm, I, I'm seeing it and I'm laying hands on him from here, from here, from here. And I'm praying that he will be well. Okay. So again, a distraction, right? So we're talking about distractions that will come in and try to rob us of understanding what our desires are so that we can really show up bold and big on the world stage in what I like to call the mastery of contribution. Now, when we decide to surrender to our purpose, when we decide to surrender to our calling on our lives, when we decide to surrender to our desires, we must remain accountable and stand in the space of being responsible, responsible. 
So I want you to be responsible and I am going to give you six ways or six keys as I like to refer to them, six keys on how you can slay, that's the word I like, slay the distractions, slay the noises that will interfere with you being one with your within. I'm going to give you six, so get ready to write them down. If you're just joining the conversation, welcome. If you're going to be watching the replay, welcome. Get your pencil, your pen, your pad, your iPhone, your iPad, your notes in your phone, and begin to write these six keys down that will allow you to slay all of those outside disturbances, okay? Number one, the first thing you want to do is trust yourself. Simply trust yourself. Trust that you are the only person who can do what God is giving you to do. Yes, slay your distractions. Hashtag slay your distractions. Absolutely, Naya. Absolutely. Right? So the first thing you want to do is trust yourself. Number two, the second thing you want to do so that you can slay the distractions is you want to be in flow. F-L-O-W. Now. Let me tell you what flow means, okay? I love to use acronyms. So when I say I want you to be in flow, I want you to, number one, be in freedom. Have freedom to what you desire. The F is have freedom. The L is that I want you to let go of old stories. The O is that I want you to have outrageous openness. Outrageous openness. I love the way that sounds. And the W is the why. Why is it that you want the desired goal that you want to have in your life manifest? Now, in my webinar this Friday, I'm going to go on a little bit deeper on the why and the outrageous openness. So make sure you join me. All the information is right here on at the um, in the description. OK, so make certain that you join up with us for the training this Friday. I'm going to give you all the information at the end of this particular training right now. But I want you to understand that in order for us to slay distractions, number one, trust yourselves. Number two, be in flow. And I just said and described what flow means. Number three, we want to recognize our inner self as true selves. I'm always talking about that. You want to recognize yourself as your true self. What is it that you are truly feeling and desiring on the inside of your soul? The inside of your soul, right? Number four, you want to spend quality time in silence and solitude. <sighs> I'm going to breathe in and breathe out. Again, we're distracted by everything. We want to spend time in silence and solitude so that we are focused, we are centered, we refuel ourselves and we can hit the restart button. You want to do that so you can slay distractions so that you are able to sit with your within and know how to ignite your desires, right? The next thing we want to do is you want to give yourself permission to release your inner voice of creative expression. Oh, I like that. Give yourself permission to release your inner voice to ignite your creative expression. You know, we are sitting on so many different creative ideas, right? I know you are. We have so many creative ideas that we're sitting on, but you know what? We don't release them because we're fearful of, you know, is it really going to happen? Do we have the right resources? And so many other things that I'm going to talk about in my webinar, you got to show up. I'm going to talk about what those fears look like. But we want to slay distractions by truly releasing and giving ourselves permission to release our creative expression. You have so much inside of you that you want to show up and be big for within your job, your family, right? Within the organizations that you're a part of, within your business, your business ideas, your ideas and concepts that are already, you know, ready to come out. You have so much creative expression there, just tapping and, and ready to be birthed. But sit with that. Sit with that. That's how we slay those distractions. And then number six, you want to pay attention to what feels of value to you. 
When something feels like it's tugging on the inside of you and you say, I like that. I want more of that. That's where I feel most of my freedom. I feel liberated when I'm doing this, whatever that thing is, right? So once you realize what it is that you really value, sit with that, own it, take some massive steps and just do it. So those are the six steps I wanted to bring to you or six keys I wanted to bring to you this evening so that you are now able to sit with your within so that you can ignite your desires, ignite your desires. Now, you know, I don't let us get away from our training tonight without having some juicy growth work. Here's your growth work for tonight. So you're going to write this down. Okay. I want you to be in massive action. I want you to make a realistic list of three immediate goals that you have. All right. Don't talk yourself out of it. So you're going to write number one, two, three, three immediate goals that you have. And then what I want you to do is I want you to sit with how are you going to take massive action for each of those three goals. So goal number one, what massive action would you take? Goal number two, what massive action will you take? Goal number three, what massive action will you take? I want you to sit with your within. I want you to sit with your within so that your massive actions are realistic, tangible, and very creative for you. And if they make you feel just a little bit uncomfortable, that's good. That's good. That's exciting. That means you're stretching yourself. That means you're growing. Okay. You're going to take leaps and bounds into creating outrageous openness for yourself. So yes, if you feel a little bit uncomfortable, that's wonderful. It's healthy. So I want you to write this down. My soul takes quantum leaps towards my creativity. My soul takes quantum leaps towards my creativity. So listen, we only have a few more days before we show up together in the webinar. So I want to remind you the webinar, which is get hungry for your desires with me on zoom this Friday, which is Friday, April the 6th, right? 6 PM specific standard time and 9 p.m. Okay. Eastern uh, standard time. And I want you, there's the link there and I'm going to come back to you tomorrow with another juicy appetizer. That's going to send us into our webinar on Friday. Men, if you know some women that you know are ready to live out loud and take their life to the next level, this webinar is for them. So all of you watching, share the video, share, share, share the video. And if you have not joined my Facebook private page, I want you to join me at the Maximum Potential Experience on Facebook. If you have not joined my emailing, please do so. Maximize Magnificence at gmail.com. It is there where I give weekly tips takeaways and trainings for you. Okay. I want you to do that. I want you to also check out my website, www.deshawnbooker.com. But I want to see your face in the place tomorrow in our conversation for our next juicy number four, right? Reason why we are entitled to our desires that's happening tomorrow. And we're leading to our awesome phenomenal webinar, our free webinar for my women of magnificence. That is this Friday. Everything's there in the description. So listen, as always, I do not take it for granted. Thank you for allowing me to come into your space this evening, into your homes. I hope that this has been a value to you. Share the video and remember that life happens. Mm. Oh, I love saying this. Life doesn't happen for us. No, I said that wrong. Life doesn't happen to us, but life happens for us. It just does. It just does, does, does. Okay. So thank you for joining. Hey, Terry, if you missed everything, everyone check out the replay. I love you. God bless you. And as always, smooches and deuces. 
Thank you, Leon. God bless you all and take wings. See you tomorrow.